Hey everybody, today we are looking at the Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Generation 3, brand new, relatively new from Lenovo. This is not actually my first ThinkPad. My first ThinkPad ever was a ThinkPad W530 from the year 2012. It was their 15 inch mobile workstation and I was using it as a student laptop for about five years. My only problem with that laptop was that it was really thick and heavy. It was 6.2 pounds and it had a massive power brick. It even got kind of loud with the fans. So I promised myself that my next ThinkPad would be a lot thinner, a lot lighter, just easier to carry around everywhere. And this should do just that. It's got a really nice selection of ports, great build quality, the traditional ThinkPad matte black. You can see it's got an Ethernet, two USB Type-C 3.2 ports, one HDMI, one USB Type-A, one microphone out, and had headset in, a Kensington slot, a USB Type-A, fans, and then empty card reader. Overall, I gotta say, build quality is excellent on this ThinkPad. They use good, polycarbonate material up top, polycarbonate on the bottom and magnesium on the inside of here and the keyboard deck. We, we got plenty of air inflow for ventilation and uh, it just feels very solid on the hand but at the same time just very light. And honestly I actually like the fan placement because it allows the air to come in this way, work through the components and then exit out this way. So it's pretty good. Now, as for internal components, I have to say that once I opened it up in there, I saw that the battery was the 38 and a half watt hour battery. They also offer a 52 and a half watt hour battery. That would have been ideal, but I only paid $980 for this. So for that money, I got a Ryzen 5 6650U, 16 gigs of RAM that's all soldered on. 512 gigabyte SSD built by Micron. So it's a pretty good quality SSD. And honestly, the specs are pretty solid for the price that I paid, $980 on sale. I can't really complain. And the RAM being soldered on, not everyone's gonna like that. I'm okay with it because I'm gonna top out at 16 gigabytes, but if you need more than 16 or 32 gigabytes, you should look elsewhere. I mean, I'm going to be primarily using this as a thin and light portable workstation and I gotta say the integrated graphics on this are reason enough to buy it. The Radeon 66, I mean 660M graphics are very good. Almost entry level workstation level graphics on like a P-series laptop so that's one reason why anybody should put this at the top of the list for a thin light and portable laptop. Now if we flip this over and then open it up this is not a one hand open laptop at all. So, sorry guys, it's not as premium as the X1 Carbon, but you know, you gotta pay more for the X1 Carbon, but you get a lot for your money here. You get a very nice fingerprint reader, which opens and works very quickly. Speaker grill up here. The new ThinkPad keyboard with one and a half millimeters of travel and a super slick Mylar touchpad. So out of these, I gotta say that the keyboard is a bit of a downgrade over my previous W530. The key travel is just not much. It still feels pretty good. There is feedback, but if I had the option, I would absolutely love a little bit more key travel because otherwise the feedback is perfect. And also the touchpad, it is super slick, super accurate. I love this touchpad. I never use these two buttons, but they are there and then I, I no longer have dedicated right and left click buttons, but I've gotten very quickly used to that. You got the Ryzen 5 Pro logo here, ThinkPad logo here. And what I was not expecting was for the speakers to be very good, but they're actually pretty decent. They get quite loud. There's no bass to be found, but audio quality is very decent for this. It also comes with this very nice six, 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen, which is really good for productivity. It's got a slight edge over 16 by 9. It's a 300 nit display, which is 
very adequate for indoor use, but if you're taking this outdoors, you might want to get the 500 nit version. That's just something to consider. I will say the display out of the box is not that great. They actually removed quite a bit of the blue light, so I actually manually went into AMD Radeon graphics settings and took down the red and green a little bit to even it out. And then after I did that, the image quality got significantly better. And also I just upped the contrast a little bit. But that's something that can be fixed manually. And then in terms of performance and efficiency, oh my god. This AMD 65, 6650U, it is so efficient. When I'm running this day to day, you feel almost, there's nothing coming out of this fan on the side. I feel like no air pressure and I feel no heat. And that's what it's like running most of the time. And it just sips battery when I'm just web browsing or doing Word documents or a light task. It's just sipping power. And even with a smaller battery, I'm still getting about six to seven hours of just light to medium use. Now, if you were to do heavy, heavier demanding tasks like AutoCAD, Revit, or even video editing, yeah, this is probably gonna last an hour and a half on full load. And then you will hear the fan a little bit. It's not very loud. It will pump out a lot of heat though. I noticed quite a bit of heat during my Geekbench testing. And I'm going to just sh share with you my Geekbench results now. As you can see, for something this thin and light, it has a very decent amount of power. It's got really good single core performance, about 1400 single core score on Geekbench when it's plugged in to the wall. I mean, that's really good and that's what most people would need for a lot of tasks like Revit. But at the same time, multi-core is almost approaching what my desktop can do. So it's not too shabby, even if you were to try to do some video editing, it could probably do it. Though that is not what I will be doing with this laptop. And I would imagine if you were to get the laptop with the 52 and a half watt hour battery, I believe then the battery life, you will probably get about 10 to 11 hours of light use, which is excellent. I might actually get that battery later on and replace it. And it's relatively easy to get in there and just flip it over, un unscrew like seven screws and you got to pop a few tabs to get in, but it's not too hard. And, you know, overall, I gotta say, for my initial impressions, guys, this has been really good. It's an upgrade in every way over my previous ThinkPad T W530. It is half the weight at about 2.8 pounds versus 6.2. It is much thinner. My previous ThinkPad was probably an inch and a half thick. This is like 0.7 inches thick, which is just pretty thin. It's, you know, this thing is almost X1 carbon territory in terms of how thin and light it is. It's pretty impressive and it's power efficient. So honestly, this is a very capable, very light, essentially a mobile workstation that is still very usable when you travel. I'm going to be taking this with me all over the country as I work. And you know, I hope I get a lot of years out of it because I'm definitely impressed with this thing pad. So much so, I'd probably give it about a 9 out of 10 initial impressions. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll be putting out a full review probably in a couple of weeks. So, until then, thank you.